What's up everybody? I'm Chris Walker and this is Music Theory Thursday. And today I'm going to show you how to make a very special pizza music. Lately I've been thinking about how making music and making food are so similar. They both contain unique ingredients which when combined the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. Speaking of greater... When you're cooking, it's good to know what you're trying to make. You need to follow a recipe, or at least have the end product in mind. At the very least, you have to know what ingredients you're working with. The same in music. So let's see what we got to work with today. Every great pizza starts with the dough. Just like every great piece of music, you gotta know your dough. For me, that dough would be... Uh, what your key is, what your instrumentation might be, what the tempo is, what genre you're writing in. This is the foundation that you build on. Yeah. Preheat the oven to 475. It's getting hot in here. Oh yeah. This is it. This is a pizza. This is starting to look really good. You really can't overthink it at this point. Just let the inspiration flow through you. You want to toss a few ideas around, you know. go. The sauce is where things really start to get interesting. It's your bass, your harmony, your structure. I really like sauce. And just like in pizza, you can have red sauce, you can have pesto, you can have white, you can have all sorts of different sauces here. For me, I'm going with your classic red. So moving on, we have the melody. The melody really holds everything together. It intertwines with the bass line and the harmony. If you ask me, it's looking and sounding pretty tasty. Because I love melodies so much, I'm gonna add in some similar, some sim, sim what the f is it? It's cheese. I'm gonna add a little ricotta to this mix. Ricotta, ricotta, tomato, tomato. <laughs> it's a couple dollops of this. This is your counter melody. It really kind of adds to the original melody there. Just a little extra cheesiness. The last step here, and arguably the most important step, is choosing your toppings. For me, that's percussion, it could be some sound effect stuff, maybe some, some cymbal rolls. What are the things you add into this mixture to bring it out, to differentiate it from, you know, the pizza next door? The pizza next door. And because music is a temporal art form, meaning it exists within time, as opposed to just space, we're gonna set the timer on our oven and pop this bad boy in there. And pop this sucker in there. Pop this baby in. Pop this mother in there. We're gonna let it cook. <laughs> I can't say that. Okay. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to enjoy the work you just made. Perfection in a slice. Oh yeah. Oh, fun fact, you know, Italian is like the language of music, so it all makes sense. Think about it. See you guys next time. 